Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and we are back with an another amazing construction update from Epic Universe from Bio Reconstruct. It has some good on the ground and aerial photos, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off here with classic monsters, you can see in the foreground some roller coaster track of that spinning Wolfman roller coaster that is has track actually completed, and even the show element completed. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But the main point here, as you can see. The show building and the facade work for the massive e-ticket attraction is really starting to take shape. You can see the steel frame is complete and scaffolding is all, the, is all the way up to the top of what is expected to be maybe Frankenstein's tower or mansion. And you can see the blue, again that blue kind of drywall type of ordeal, blue sheeting that we saw with the construction of Super Nintendo World here in Hollywood. Now that's starting to go up so this is progressing now pretty quickly same thing with the wizard world of harry potter on the other side of this uh of the pond here of the of the hub we saw that go up a few months ago and look now that's look how far that's come along so epic mo uh, uh, classic monsters should be moving along even rapidly now that both attractions are kind of wrapping up, all right? I mean, the coaster doesn't have too much of a theme to it. Uh, you can see here is an aerial shot here, or a, no, a wider on the ground shot. The classic monsters, you can see the uh, the barn type structure there in the middle that's during that shuttle element. And then the main theming for the queue for the e-ticket attraction, then they'll just work on the village. Then the classic monsters area will be just about done. Of course, they'll put some trees and stuff in there, but yeah, this area looks absolutely fantastic. And again, 2023, it's going to open in 2025, so it is yeah, starting to get definitely past that halfway point and wrapping up. Moving to more aerial shot now, specifically just the rumored Wolfman Mock Spinning Coaster. You can see that they're working on the barn element, that scene which is called scene two in the permits, right? There's scene one, which is the unload, unload, and then scene two. All that open track won't just be openness. There'll be lots of trees and, you know, foresty type theming because you'll be like, I guess, the wolf man going through the trees. But that area where the barn is is where the shuttle elements can happen. Meaning, it'll be like just like Icebreaker where you won't quite make it up the that first hill on the first try. You'll have to go swing back and forth a couple of times and then you'll get a nice final launch and a spinning element onto that high bang turn to finish off the rest of the course. The course, I believe I heard from someone is about a thousand feet longer than, or a couple meters longer than Flight of the Hippogriff, but with that shuttle element, that'll add a couple of seconds or a couple or a minute or two on to the overall ride time. So it definitely will not be short like Flight of the Hippogriff. And moving on to the Epic Universe Helios, Helios Hotel. I'm not sure what construction method this is going to be. If it's going to be if they're doing a prefab and they're going to stack them like the Luna Hotel. Or if they're doing a more traditional construction method for this hotel. But the other, if they're doing a prefab, then when all of this is built off site, they can just stack it. But if not, eh, going a little bit slowly here. But they have a lot of other things they're focusing on. So I'm sure when some of these lands wrap up. They'll build the hotel and then it's just, it's a quick, it's an easy build when they start doing the go vertical because it's just the same repetitive, you know, floor by floor. So they're probably finishing up some lands first. Right here is the How to Train Your Dragon Coaster with all this mesh and all this steel here. But it shows, just shows some of the high banked turns of the coaster and here's a better look at that the Great Hall and the maintenance bay and station for the coaster. How to train, how to train your dragon coaster and some turns here. They're still putting in some track. It's not entirely complete, but this is going to be a family coaster. But think more of line of Hagrid's family coaster. Like it's kind of intense, even for families, but not like Thunder Mountain where that's like a family coaster, but like not really intense at all. This certainly has this certainly has its high paying turns and airtime hills. As you, they try to simulate you being on top of a dragon, presumably, tra presumably training it to fly. 
So uh, yeah, this should be a fun and exciting coaster for really the entire family. I feel like more like Hagrid's level, but not as intense as Hagrid. Quick look at the theater here, which is heavily rumored to be hosting a sh version of the show Untrainable from Universal Studios Beijing. Not much has changed here. You can see the clearly defined seating elements. And um, I guess there's yes, ye less yellow and more concrete than last time, but that's it. And you can see what's probably a pre-show room. Um, and backstage building right next to the main seating area of the building but that's pretty much it for this update on the theater but what has a bigger update are the statues in front of the land again we'll be crossing a bridge onto the land where these statues right from the movie will be in this massive lake area which is of course just concrete but this will be filled up with water later looks like one is almost done and two is under scaffolding and should be done by the next update these will look fantastic um i can't wait to see the final theming on these um i actually again have if you watch other updates i haven't seen a single how to change a dragon movie so i definitely want to watch the trilogy before the live action movie comes out to come out with the live action one in 2025 to coincide with this opening and to figure out what these statues are all about here's a better shot of the coaster you can see part of the coaster on the left side goes to the concrete channel which will be again going underwater quote unquote as that concrete channel will be filled with water that'll be that same lake those statues win are in then you see it goes to a nice little launch section onto a nice airtime hill and curve and then you can see the maintenance bay on the top right hand of the corner for the starfall racers coaster which has some major progress and we'll get to that later on in this update yeah not only is this will be like a semi-intense family coaster but It'll be quite a long family coaster for how to train your dragon, which is good. Um, and th this will be the biggest land, so it makes sense that this coaster will be fairly fairly long, to almost like a tour of the whole land. Here's a quick update on the fountain. Looks like they're installing the infrastructure, starting to install the ground infrastructure for that. And the water circulation, I feel like those arrows from Fire Reconstruct, he put those arrows in there. I feel like that will be like the circulation of the fountain. Maybe there'll be a, a current or a flow kind of clockwise with the water when it's done. But yeah, those are, they're starting the, putting the infrastructure on that fountain, which should host uh, maybe a show in the daytime and nighttime. And this right here is the park entrance. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't look like much now, but in a couple years or less than that it will be much more grand and have an iconic entrance statement to it but this is a fairly big park entrance i feel like this particular portion will be a gift shop then we'll see the probably the classic universal arches and then which will lead into the gift shop and you'll see the ticketing booths and a nice little plaza where that water stain is this right here is the hub's water ride um rumored to be water ride a mock spinning water ride kind of like a teacups but like on water is what it's being described as and there'll be a glass dome structure that will be covering this to the north of that is the sneak peek at super nintendo world which we'll get to in an update or later on in this update and there's the nintendo store they'll be outside the land which looks just about done here's the luna hotel this is the one that's being built prefab meaning they built all the rooms and levels off site and they kind of stack them together like legos and you kind of see how it's kind of like separated off into like little sections that's because yeah they stack those they built those off site and they just stacked them like lego like legos with a crane which makes for really fast construction and can actually shave construction times up by months rumor has it these hotels will actually open up earlier than the actual park and it seems like they can because they're if not more than halfway done Moving on to the Risen World of Harry Potter, lots of lots of scaffolding and steel here as well as some thematic elements and even some pathways starting to form. Yes, those lighter colored areas, that's the flooring starting to form. So this is, uh, this might be actually the most advanced, That this or Super Nintendo World might be the most farthest along land, but makes sense because this land has a lot to do, like a lot going for it, right? There's a lot to, a lot of thematic elements, the Parisian um facades you can see those are starting to get some color already there's a massive e-ticket attraction um maybe a sh and a show and there are lots of shops and stuff these this area has a lot of detail so it's definitely gonna have to be the furthest along because it has the most to do or most to 
you know, install. But nevertheless, it looks fantastic. I mean, just absolutely fantastic. Gonna have two Parisian areas in uh, Florida. Of course, the Epcot has the Ratatouille France Pavilion, and then Universal's Epic Universe will have the Fantastic Beasts French uh, Ministry area. It will be the British Ministry, but you'll enter through the French Ministry and go through the Flume Network. Um, hopefully that's not too confusing for guests, but I'm sure they'll make it an easy way to explain. The pathways do look a little bit bigger, at least in the main one, than Diagon Alley and Wizarding World, or Hogsmeade, so that's good. But still, every pathway is pretty tight by normal theme park standards in this in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, because that's just how it is. They have to make, can't make it too wide, or else kind of breaks that immersion. But anyway, this area looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to explore the shops, and I'm sure they'll have interactive wand experiences, maybe even some upgraded interactive wand experiences when this land opens. Moving on to Super Nintendo World, another very small land. Um, well, there's a lot of more, a lot more walking room than you expect, but it's still small. And again, but a lot to do in itself with interactivity and rides. Yoshi, Mario Kart, and now Donkey Kong here, but. A lot to install. This land is very, very detailed, as you've probably seen from Hollywood and Japan. You can see not much. They're starting to install some of the mountains, or at least the facade work for the mountains. Here's a quick look at the Donkey Kong coaster. The indoor segment, what looks like you'll be going down a short drop there. And that yellow track is the real track, and the false track is the uh, above that. It's harder to see, but it's above that. And that is, we go into a little show scene in the temple area in this particular particular section before we start jumping and hopping the tracks, which is still a really cool idea. That's such awesome technology that Universal and the costume manufacturer were able to come up with. Here's the entrance to Super Nintendo World, the entrance warp pipe. There's going to be an escalator or elevator or both to get up to the second level because uh, you're going to enter just like Tokyo through Peach's Castle on level 2. But you obviously start on level 1 here, so you have to get up somehow. So there's probably an escalator or an elevator. Or, again, or multiple modes of transportation to get up there. And then here's an overview of Peach's Castle where you enter. Um, that steel on top is where you'll enter. And then Peach's Castle is right below the concrete. The stairs, where there's concrete stairs and everything are. I'll put some arrows in here so you know what I'm talking about, but that is Peach's Castle. And then Mount Beanpole is down at the bottom of the picture. You can see the framing for Mount Beanpole. If you watched me uh, for a couple of years now, you probably remember the same framing when Hollywood had its Mount Beanpole being constructed. Look just like that. So it's kind of cool to see Super Nintendo World being built again. It's almost like we're going back in time to when we were watching the construction progress here in Hollywood, but this time in Orlando. Here's another overview shot of the whole land. You can see Donkey Kong in the back there with all that open space and coaster track. And the very intricate and tight Mario Kart show building, which is huge. The biggest of the three attractions in terms of show buildings. And then Yoshi's yellow track. More like a people mover for land, but does have a show scene as well. And I'm sure some achievements in the app with the power of bands, so that'd be cool. And yeah, that... Well, that and Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I feel like, are the farthest along lands. But they could all be about the same percentage. I don't know just how much stuff with the How to Train Your Dragon and Classic Monsters, how many things they need to build. So they could be all at the same point. Who knows? But they just look the farthest along to me. Moving on to Starfall Race. Something that is moving on rapidly that we can see is Starfall Racers with new pieces of track even installed since I grab these photos from bio reconstructs twitter here um today i saw someone posted even more track than this so in our next update we'll have even more to talk about but yeah look at these dueling racing coasters you'll be racing through space probably over 70 miles per hour and it'll be amazing but this is look at this look at this shot this shot is gorgeous i love top hat elements just because of the way they look but uh dueling top hat oh boy that looks absolutely gorgeous and the way kind of the sun is i mean that that this could be a photo that you print and frame in your house i mean absolutely incredible work from bio reconstruct again if you don't follow him on twitter 
And if you haven't started following him on Twitter from these updates, please take a moment after this video, go on Twitter if you have one, and follow him. He might have an Instagram as well. I know he's just very active on Twitter, but look gorgeous. And you can even put some where you can make them your like profile banner. And it's just absolutely amazing. Another shot here. Look at that. I mean, that's incredible. Another shot of the, you know, the airtime hills, the, the top hat there. That is estimates to be around, I believe, 120 feet I saw. And then there's an even taller element, those taller supports that don't have track on them yet. That's going to be a potentially at least 140 feet. And yes, it's a pretty, uh, not not too uh, short of a coaster. It's definitely uh, in the tall side. And all that steel, it looks incredible i cannot wait for this to be open i can't wait for it to be testing let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below how are you liking epic universe what land or ride are you most excited for i show you what land are you most excited for and what ride are you most excited for it doesn't have to be in the same land that you choose but i'm curious me i'm probably most excited for I don't know. I, the classic monsters ride sounds really, really dope. Uh, but Starfall Racers is looking amazing as well. So I think I'm excited most for the Starfall Racers coaster. But the land I'm most excited for is classic monsters because of the things we've been hearing from that land. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park and epic universe updates. And as always, have a monstrous and epic day.